So I'm starting her skin prep with the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer, and I'm just gonna apply this all over, get her nice and hydrated before we get into the rest of the makeup. I love this one, it's so lightweight and it just absorbs quickly and really leaves you with a nice hydrated skin. Now that she's hydrated, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier um, Hydrating Primer. Taking that all over. This is gonna add a second layer of hydration, but it's also gonna prime her skin so her foundation goes on smoother and lasts longer. This one's really nice if you have drier skin. So now we're doing a little bit more eye prep and we're just taking the Erna Lonslo under eye patches and we're just gonna put these on while we do her eye makeup. She had a little bit of puffiness that she mentioned so we're just gonna get some more deep puffing going on with these. Now we're gonna prep her lips with the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. This is one of my favorite lip conditioners of all time. It's so nice, super emollient. Pop that right over her lips, get them nice and softened. Especially for this look too, we're gonna to be doing a really matte lipstick. And when you do a matte lipstick, if your lips are dry underneath, it could tend to look really cakey and just crusty and you don't want that, so. I'm gonna load her up with moisturizer. So now we're gonna start her eyes. We're gonna do the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. Using a flat brush, I'm just going to shade underneath her brows. Get a nice defined line. And I'm gonna bring that product down to her eyelid. And this is gonna act like our eyeshadow base or primer. Since it's creamy too, I'm just gonna apply it all over. And when we do apply a shadow on top, since it does have a little bit of a moisture to it, it's gonna help grip that shadow. I don't like using eye primers. I think they're too thick and too heavy on the eyelid. So just a little bit of concealer is pretty much all I ever use as an eye base. And then taking a fluffier brush, I'm gonna blend that line and just kind of work it into her brows. So now that her eye base is on, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder Trio, and I'm gonna take that center shade, this really pretty iridescent light color, and I'm going to lightly highlight right underneath her brow bone. a little bit, pop it in the tear duct. Now we're gonna go in with one more color as her base. This is Humble, this is from the Persona Identity Palette. It's a nice neutral palette, lots of earth tones and browns. I'm just gonna put this on the inner part of her eyelid. And I'm using the same brush. This is a flat shadow brush. This is a MAC one. I've had it forever. It's a 239. It's great for packing on any color.
Now on our next color, this is gonna be Charming. It's a medium brown from the same palette. And with a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna be open and look straight ahead. I'm gonna focus the color on the outer corner of the eye first and then gently buff it inward. Almost gonna create like a side V. And I'm having Stephanie keep her eyes open for this application because I really want to see where that child is going to end up. And sometimes when their eyes are closed and then they open, it's in a completely different place than you want it to be. So this is a great way to make sure their placement is going to be spot on. So same technique, I'm just tightly buffing this in the outer corner and I'm focusing it on the outer corner and then blending whatever's left over towards the center. And I'm just taking that same color and I'm just basically building it. So starting out lightly with my initial application and then I'm just building on top of that outer corner. Having a lot of that color in that outer corner of the eye, really getting this part nice and smoky. And then whatever's left over my brush, I'm not re-dipping it, but I'm just taking that same brush and I'm gently pulling that color out. Taking a smaller pencil brush and a darker brown from the same palette, so this is the color Fearless. And I'm going back over that outer corner and just buffing that on top of her lash line and then pulling that product out again. Almost tracing a cat eye. Now I'm going back in with the same pencil brush and a black eyeshadow and I'm really taking just a tiny bit and popping it over that already dark brown shadow that we have already. Just going over that to deepen it. So now we're gonna go in with some lashes. These are trios and it's a medium length. Um, I love these, these are so easy to apply. Starting on the outer corner.
Just pushing them in. So I just did a little bit of bottom lash line lining with the same liner from Jouer. And I'm gonna take it on this side when you have to look up. This is gonna help connect that top lash line to the bottom. Just give it a more cohesive look. This is also very 90s in in my opinion, that kind of stark top and bottom liner, especially on the bottom too. Now I'm gonna go with a smaller flat shading brush and the same palette we used earlier. I'm just gonna set that bottom lash line. So we'll look up one more time. This will help keep that liner in place so it doesn't run, but it's also gonna help just diffuse the line just a little bit so it's not so harsh. Now that her eyeshadow is pretty much done, I'm gonna go in and curl her lashes. Mm -hmm. Time for mascara, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Maybe open, but look down just a little bit, yep. I like to keep my finger on top of the eyelid so that way I can really push her lashes into the false ones and get a good blend with that mascara wand. Top lash line is done with mascara. Now we do the bottom. So let me look up. Same mascara. So now we're moving on to foundation. I mixed a couple colors on my palette. I'm using a face and body foundation and a luminous silk from Armani. And with a large fluffy brush. Just buff that on. This is a MAC 187 brush. So our foundation is on, and now we're gonna go in with concealer, and I'm just gonna take the one of my favorites. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Macadamia.
I'm just gonna buff that along the side of her nose, bringing it down and then blending it straight across right above her cheekbone. This will give her a slight highlight effect, nothing too dramatic, but it will help to brighten that area. So I'm gonna take a small beauty blender and a little bit of translucent powder from Laura Mercier. It's one of my favorite setting powders and I'm just going to lightly bake under her eye. First making sure that we have no creases before we set that area. So now I'm going in with her contour. This is one of my favorites. I use this all the time. You probably see this on my Instagram all the time. It's the Chanel Cream Bronzer. They only make one color, which is kind of a bummer, obviously, but I really need to get on that actually. But the good thing is this color is so nice and neutral. It doesn't look too orange on, it's not too pink. So I'm just using a small, flat stippling brush. Starting from the ear, and then buffing that product right underneath her cheekbone. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the side of her forehead. Same brush, and lightly shade the side of her nose. Take it right above her brow bone, along her cheekbone. So I'm going to go and focus on her brows. I'm going to use uh, the MAC Brow Set in the color Beguile and just brush those brows up. This has a great, a kind of like an ash brown tint to it. And it does have some fiber in it, so it gives your brows a thicker appearance, kind of coats them and gives them that, almost like a fiber mascara. It's the same thing for your brows. I love this too because it does help to, if your client already has thick full brows, it's a great way to just kind of groom them, shape them without having to put too much product in them. Now I'm just gonna go in so slightly with a brow pencil. This is a Brow Contour Pro from Benefit. I love this. It has multi-colors all over. It even has a highlighting shade. I'm taking the darkest color on this one and I'm just gonna warm up that product. And I'm just really gonna draw a couple strokes.
Now it's time for blush. I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Blush in Wild Honey. I'm just gonna tap that product on. Don't want it to be too heavy. I'm going back in with that same palette we used earlier. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And I'm just gonna go over her highlight one more time using this far left shade. Just dusting a little bit more on top of her cheekbone. Same thing down the center of her nose. And I'm gonna take that lightest color Really lightly apply it just in the center of her forehead. This stuff photographs so beautifully. It's it's such a beautiful highlight. It's honestly so natural. It almost looks like a, like a filter, like an Instagram filter. Same thing, get just a little bit above the temple. Time to lip line her gorgeous lips. I'm gonna go in with two different lip liners, two of my favorites too. This is Oak from MAC. I'm starting with this lighter color and then I'm gonna go back in and deepen that liner with cork. So now that oak is on, I'm gonna go back over, like I said, with cork. It's just a, it's a much deeper brown, but it's just gonna give us that super lined 90s look. I'm being very light-handed with this color too, since like I said, it is darker. I'm not going like full on with that product. I'm using really light pressure to apply it. So it doesn't go on too dark. So now that her lips are aligned, we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty. Um, this is actually, I think it was part of a 90s inspired lip launch. This is the color Board Meeting. It's a really cool matte, matte brown. Pop that all on center. Just such a cool color. Kind of reminds me of if Spice lip liner from MAC was a lipstick. This is kind of what it would look like.
So now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're actually gonna draw on a Cindy Crawford inspired mole. And we're using, again, that same Persona palette and the color Maverick and just a small, it's an eyeliner brush. I wet it first and I'm just lightly dipping it into that dark brown. And look towards me a little bit. Placing that you know, with a clean fingertip. So now we're finished with our 90s model inspired makeup. I'm gonna set her face with one of my favorites, the all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. And then we're gonna take these curlers out, pull out her hair, and then we'll be complete. supermodel inspired look on Stephanie. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.